Electronic Collection Overlap Analysis. Suppose you're looking to acquire a new electronic collection, a new acquisition, and you want to know if this collection is actually going to add any titles to the existing collections you already have in your institution. Now there's a way for Alma to analyze two sets of electronic collections. It goes over all of their titles and it tells you which titles overlap and which titles are unique so that you see what the net gain is if you were to purchase the new collection. Furthermore, this analysis can also take into account coverage dates. You might have the same title with different coverage dates, then that might still count as a unique title for that purpose. So Alma does that analysis as well. And we're going to make one of these overlap analyses and take a look at the resultant reports. So let's go into Alma. And under Alma menu, Resource Management, Advanced Tools, we have Overlap Analysis. Now here you can see previous reports that I've created, but we want to create a new report. So we click here on Submit New Report. Right now the only option here is Set Comparison. Uh, in the future, it will also be possible to compare with an import file that has the electronic collection data in it. But now we compare two sets of electronic collections. Let's create the source set and the target set. Now, the source set is going to be the new set that I'm interested in. Um, and the set I'm interested in getting is general philosophy rather the collection I'm searching for. Okay, the set I'm interested in is general philosophy journals. And part of my story here is that, let's say I already have the Greek philosophy journals. So let's take a look here. Add selected, first I need to select it, then I click add selected. And then we can see here selected items, general philosophy journals have been added. Done. So now we've defined the source set. Now, in future releases of Alma, you can add more electronic collections to the set. In the December release, the source set has to include only one collection for optimization reasons. In our example, we're going to have one electronic collection in the source set and one electronic collection in the target set. So let's click on definition of target set. And the target set is Greek philosophy. Okay, this is the one I have in my institution. We select it, add selected, done. And we want to see if this general philosophy is going to add any new journals over the Greek philosophy journals, and whether there is some overlap between these two, either in titles or in coverage. So, source set, target set, now we can click next. Okay, and now in the compare electronic collections page, we have the name of the report, the match method, in our case it'll be ISSM. Okay, here's an important bit. Use date coverage information in the comparison. This will not only compare the titles, but will also compare the coverage, and will let you know if you have the same title with different coverage, whether it's overlapping coverage or mutually exclusive coverage. So use date coverage information in the comparison. And reference here for calculating embargo, the embargo is basically the last year of the coverage that we'll be looking at. We can leave it on current year, but you can also select these options. Okay, let's submit the report. And we can see here that the status is running. We can give it a refresh and complete it successfully. Now, the, this job, if you have uh, very large collections, this job can take several minutes. So, in our case, these are small um, electronic collections. The job was completed quite quickly. Let's view the report. Status completed successfully. Nine records were processed. And here's the interesting part. Alma created four reports. The first is Complete Overlap Report. These are matching titles that have the same coverage date. Partial Overlap Report is the same title and partially overlapping coverage date. 
title overlap report means same title but non-overlapping coverage dates. And finally, we have unique titles report. These are the titles which appear in the source set, but do not appear in the target set. So in our case, it will be titles that are in general philosophy, but are not in Greek philosophy. So let's take a look at these four titles. Complete overlap report. These overlap in both title and date. So here's our Excel file. And we can see that there was one title that was found in both sets with the same coverage. And you'll notice that the coverage in the source set is 1970 to 2014, and the coverage in the target set is 1970 to 2014, right? And it was in both the collection Greek philosophy journals and in the collection general philosophy journals. This was the Diogenes Journal of Philosophy. Okay, um, partial overlap report. Let's take a look at that. We have the Socrates Journal of Philosophy. It appears in both collections, but with different coverage. So let's see. In the general philosophy journals, in the source set, it appears with the coverage 1950 to 2014. And in the target set, on, in Greek philosophy, it's from 1960 to 2014. So same title and overlapping coverage dates. The overlapping bit would be between 1960 to 2014, right? That's the overlap between these two coverages. Okay, next report. Title overlap report means same title and mutually exclusive coverage. So the Epicurus Journal of Philosophy appears in general philosophy journals with the coverage 2000 till 2010 and in the Greek philosophy journals with the coverage 1980 till 1990. And finally, 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 and perhaps most importantly, unique titles report. This tells us which titles are unique to the source set, right? This is uh, the new set that we're interested in. This tells us what the net gain would be. So these are the unique titles report. So we have the Averroes Journal of Philosophy and the Spinoza Journal of Philosophy. These are only found in the general philosophy journals. They are not to be found in the Greek philosophy journals. And that is it for overlap analysis.